everybody. You're watching Senior Business presented by The Vegas Voice. I'm Dan Roberts, the publisher and editor of the magazine, and it's our goal to introduce you to all the great businesses that cater to the, our market, the senior industry. Our guest today is a perfect example of that, as I'm joined by Laura Harvison of Realty Executives. Laura, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me today. Yeah. You know what? Let's start with exactly what you do, how you go about doing it. Tell us about Realty Executives and your business. Okay. Well, I've been in business for 32 years, and um, you know, obviously, real estate brokerage. Mostly, what we, you know, most of what we do is residential real estate. Um, we do some commercial. We do some land, um, but primarily, we focus on the senior communities and providing services uh, to them. And you know the the thirty two years. So you started when you were about four or five years old, obviously. Six and a half. Okay. And was it always in Southern Nevada in this in this area, or were you around the country? Where were you? Where did you start at? Yeah, always here in Southern Nevada. So in December of nineteen eighty six is when I got into the real estate market. I was my office was in Las Vegas at that time. Now it's in Henderson. Right. And uh, I was with a previous company for about eleven years, and then I've been with Realty Executives. I'm actually the broker owner of Realty Executives, uh, Southern Nevada Properties. Um, and so, you know, that's been since 1997. And, I mean, you must have witnessed the whole change of Las Vegas, because back in 86, it was just, what, a couple of roads and a couple of dirt fields? And mm -hmm. I could get anywhere in 15 minutes. You probably could, right? Uh-huh, pretty much. I, aren't you amazed uh, how the market and how the world in Las Vegas has just completely changed? It has. It yeah. has. And our senior market has grown remarkably all the, you know, with all the senior communities that are all over. We're building new ones now. So, yeah. yeah. And in, in, in all those years, which again, you started when you were four or five, I guess, uh, how many homes have you sold? Have you ever figured out how many homes you've mm -hmm. been involved with? I have closed just shy of 7,000 transactions so far. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. about 2,500 of those have been in senior communities, and of course that increases every year because that's been our focus since about in the late 90s is when we decided that was going to be our focus. You know, and, and the world must have changed also in the senior communities because I guess more people are flocking here, like myself, and people at the Vegas Voice to retire. It's a whole different world, let's say, from California or New York or from Illinois. Mm -hmm. We get people from all over and even from other countries. Other countries? Absolutely. And, and has the world changed for you in terms of uh, being a real estate broker or an agent, whatever the correct term is, because of people from foreign countries having to come in or just adjusting? I know for me, when I moved from New York out here, it was sticker shock. Do you have that with people, and how, and how do you deal with it? Well, it depends on where they're coming from. You know, to some people our market seems very affordable. To some people they are shocked at uh, the prices because it just depends. If you're from the Midwest, you're probably used to a much, uh, you know, a lot more land for a lot less money. I guess, but if you're from California, especially from New York, I, you know, like, I look at what you have and what's available, and I'm saying, is that all? You know, it's... I mean, how, how do you deal with the individual personalities? I mean, that, that's got to be a major thing because it's a major move for the for the people themselves. Right, right. Well, everyone has different needs. So, you know, for starters, we just have to assess, you know, what they do need, you know, what services they need, how much attention. I mean, we, we stay open seven days a week. We answer the phone day and night. And we do that because we know our senior clients don't want to talk to a machine and press one for this and press two oh, for yeah. that. Uh, we do, you know, we cover a lot of different media. You know, we love our advertisements in the Vegas Voice, of course. Thank you. You know, we do our print ads. We do, um, you know, I'm on a television show. I've got, you know, all kinds of social media going. We're doing videos. We're doing the 3D virtual tours. You know, all types of things. So no matter how they want to get their information, we can get it to them. But the seniors tend to have additional needs, too, especially if they're transitioning from out of state. Uh, so we can hand, we can handle just about any referral. We're also licensed property managers, so if they pick a house and it needs you know it, it needs some things done to it before they move in and they're coming from out of state, we're here to help manage that process. Same if they're going in the other direction and let's say they're going to be with family and you know they can't really handle all the details of the move. Um, you know, we're on site to basically handle anything that they need and, and help with those extra needs that they may have. And, you know, and again, you said you started in 86 or so. Mm -hmm. No one ever heard of virtual reality or all, all, all this stuff. How do, how do you keep up with the, with the changing times? Well, I mean, that has to be just constantly. Ed education is key. When I started in 1986, we had a one-page contract. There was no such thing as an MLS computer. Um, we got a book every week 
from the multiple listing that had all the different listings. So we would do our little one pager and we would turn in our information to the Association of Realtors and we would get it back that way. Um, I've always tried to stay ahead of the curve. So when the MLS computer was created, uh, you know, I was one of the first people to you know dive right in with that. Right. Um, they didn't have screens yet, so you had to memorize all the codes. Um, so it was like a typewriter. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, and then, of course, over time, and we, we evolved from basically having none of that, and so it was magazine ads and a sign, you know, and maybe a flyer, to today's technology where we have all the different social media, all the different interactive programs, the QR codes, the you know, and now you can literally go on your computer screen and do a walkthrough of the property. And we do that for all of our properties. There's very few people in this market that are doing that yet right. with the three, because it's, you know, obviously it's expensive, but I think it's necessary in today's changing world. Um, and also extremely nice for people who are coming from out of state because they can literally do a, vir when you talk about a virtual tour, you usually think of, you know, a picture slideshow. This isn't that. This is you press the little arrows and it takes you through the room to the house, so you can really get a feel for the floor plan, etc. So it's 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 come a long way. And, and is it different when you try and help someone who is a millennial compared to a senior? Because it's how what do you do focusing just on our people, our ages, fifty and over, and they're coming in from let's say California or from New York and you know, using that. How do you do it differently? Or what do you do? How do you go about doing it? Well, the communication is different. You know, the millennials tend to just want to text. They don't want to talk to anyone. They're out, you know, getting their own information and all. Um, in the senior communities, you know, typically we're putting together more of a package. You know, where you know, again, I'm talking with them. I'm assessing what their needs are. I have that open communication. They can call me. They don't have to talk to a machine. Yeah. I mean, obviously, they can text me, and I've had. Plenty of people in their 90s who prefer to text really? me. That was, oh my <laughs> which is so much, I, I, I which can't is imagine. Fun. So, but whatever mode of communication is comfortable for them, a lot of people want to talk. Some people don't have email, you know, those types of things. Yeah. So, you know, I may be having to print all the materials for them and get them to them, you know, those types of things. So it just depends. It's very unique person to person. Um, I've got uh, a nice lady moving here to Solera from Alabama. She's okay. going to be here next week. I've been working with her for months. Um, I've done everything from coordinate having the house cleaned for her, going and checking on repairs, things, you know, things like that. Um, she does like to talk on the phone, and so we talk a lot. Right. And um, you know, she does also use email and all, but uh, you know, just that personal touch and actually having a relationship is is more important to the senior community yeah, I would than to that's the millennials. Vital. Yeah. 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 And but you know, I, I also know that. You have different guides and booklets that you give to people. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about that, because I, I think that's remarkable. Mm -hmm. Well, the laws are different when you move from state to state. Right. So or even if you've lived in Nevada for a long time, if you haven't bought or sold a house in a long time, you may not remember the process, or the process may be so different now than it was 10 years, 20 years, 30 years ago. So I have guides for both buyers and sellers, which take them through the process. It explains step by step what's going to happen, what they can expect, um, what the title company, title slash escrow company does. Um, if they're from back east, they may be used to using attorneys yes. and then all. We are, we're an escrow state. We don't use real estate attorneys. And um, that can be a little shocking to no, some people. No, very much so. Yeah. Yes. So understanding that process and the difference in the laws and the time frames and um, you know, just giving them that step by step, regardless of which you know, if they're on the seller side or on the buyer side of the transaction. So when I show up to meet with someone for the first time who wants to sell their house, I'm coming in with a huge packet of information, right. you know, in the, in a book form, typically about 100 to 150 pages, and um, people look at they're like, oh, I get to keep that, and yes, this is all. This is your step by step information about your house, about the market and then what you can expect through the process, the marketing, etc. And then I even give them a list of vendors, you know, that can be helpful, you know, people that we've used over, you know, that I've come in co contact with over the last 30 years that have done a good job. So I give them everything everything up front, utility list, you name it, but all the different things that they, uh, that they're gonna need. So let me ask you this, the best part about the job, the best part. You know, I, It'll sound a little cliche, but it is is—it is absolutely the people. I get to meet so many interesting people who have had amazing life experiences that come from every different background you can imagine. And, you know, people ask me, well, why are your appointments so long? Well, 
I actually want to hear about that. You know, I, I mean, I'm happy to share anything about myself that they want to know, and I want to hear. You know, I I learn so much, you know, from each individual, you know, each individual client, and um, I want to de develop a lasting relationship with them. I'm not there to just, okay, boom, your transaction's over. Okay, see ya, have a nice day. You know, I stay in touch with these people. I have thousands of people in my database, and I go, you know, I will go to the grocery store or go anywhere. You know, I, I, you know, I live close to the senior communities, and also I'm, I'm in and out. I'm seeing people all the time. And I had a lady come up to me in the grocery store the other day, and, you know, in the center of Sun City Anthem, and say, oh, you helped me sell my house in 1997. I'm like, why, yes, I did. <laughs> yep. You know, and so it's just great. And, and with getting close to 7,000 transactions, yes, sir. you still get a kick out of it? You still enjoy it? Still, yeah. It, and uh, my husband asked me, well, when are you going to retire? And I'm like, yeah, uh, probably not. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, I don't see that happening. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, in, in the few minutes you have left, if uh, people want to get a hold of you, how do they go about doing it? Well, they can. I have a very easy phone number. It's seven zero two seven 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 one two three four. So figure lucky sevens for Las Vegas, yeah. and then of course one two three four. Pretty easy to remember. Easy, yeah. um, my website is www.laraharbisonrealestate.com, and on there they can do everything from search for a home. It has my videos, clips from my television show, you know, the home videos, things like that. So fun stuff they can look at. Um, so, and of course, they can email me, laura at harvestandrealestate.com. Okay. So, um, I'll, I'll answer no matter how someone tries to contact me. So, if they contact you by phone, it's not press one, press two, press five. Live press human. Eight. Can't argue with Seven that. Seven days a week, you even know, holidays. There you go. That's, that's the best part about it. Laura, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate you helping me out and coming here okay. and figuring this out. And I'm Dan Roberts, and I thank you for watching. And if you need more information about Laura or The Vegas Voice, by all means, give us a call, 702-251-4441. And like Laura, no machines, you'll get a live person. Anyway, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.